Hey guys, welcome back to part 4 of my Let's Play of Beast Boxing Turbo. We're at the Monstrala Mountains, which is where we'll be training so that we can fight in the Ultra League. Now I know I said in the last video that I wouldn't do any more grinding and exhibition matches, but while part 3 was being saved, I fought Santalas a few times while I was waiting, so that's why I have a bit more money than last time. So we're gonna jump straight into fighting the next guy, Frankenbeans, style lumbering brute. Hates, prejudice, demeanor, quite nice once you get to know him. No one see beast behind this brown. So let's fight him. Franken beans made of strong pig fighters plus demon spirits. Me second monk of Monstrala. Franken beans has a tough defense and he'll knock you out if you get impatient. Be cautious and strategic and try not to get hit. Yeah, his attacks are somewhat strong. And he's blocking more than the others were at the start. I'm debating now, should I be buying new gear or should I be putting some more stats into attack or maybe defense or health? Oh, I need to keep an eye on my stamina there. Yeah, these guys are actually much smarter than before. They're not just walking into your attacks. They'll run to the side and they, it looks like they'll kind of wait there for a while or sometimes they'll wait for you I guess. When I was finding Santalas in the exhibition I noticed that when he was catching on to my attack pattern how I'll dodge to the left or right and then wait for them to come to me I noticed that he'd go the opposite direction of me and he would wait for me to come to him. So it seems like they do catch on and it becomes somewhat intelligent. Yeah, and he's blocking my jabs now, so they really do catch on. I can't rely on my usual strategy of just wail into him with jabs. So I guess I'll just dodge left and right and use hooks. Let's see if... Which does seem to be working, so maybe in the next fight down he'll try to defend against hooks as opposed to... Oh, uh, <laughs> let my health regen a bit there. I wasn't paying attention. So I can't really rely on hooks because it's leaving myself open for attacks. And I can't jab him now to drop his guard because he's blocking too much. Nice. This is a close round here. Uh, that was that was very close. <laughs> I got lucky in that round, but because I wasn't able to rely on jabs there. You know, I tried to use hooks, but I just couldn't get it because he's so used to blocking against jabs now, I just can't drop his guard. Yeah, this one might take some doing. Looks like from now on I'm really going to have to start changing it up. Start mixing in the attacks. Because I can't rely on just jabs now or otherwise it's going to take too long. Blocking all my jabs. And hooks are too slow. He's, he's getting his jabs in before I can get a hook in. Well, I'll let him come to me. I'll play patiently. Let him come. Oh, crap. Out of stamina. Yeah, they get much smarter, too. It seems like when I was out of stamina, he was actually rushing over to get me. Yeah, this... 
I really don't want to know what um the Ultra League is going to be like if this is what the training for the Ultra League is like. But I really do need to start um, mixing up my attacks, like I said. So from round one on, I'm going to have to mix in hooks and jabs and uppercuts as opposed to just relying on jabs all the time. I mean, he's not too difficult. It's just that he blocks and... Yeah, there. He, see, he's catching on to me now. He knows I'm waiting for him to come to me. So he stays in the corner. He's going to wait for me to come to him. And when I go over, he'll try to attack me straight away. Nope. Yeah, see. He was in the corner dodging out of the way so that I couldn't actually hit him. He's guarding against jab combos. And there's really nothing I can do about that now because... You can't use a... Hooks are really unreliable unless their guard is down. I may end up losing this fight actually unless I just... Play... Patiently. And just... Beat him a little at a time with jabs. Which is what I'm gonna have to do it seems like. Alright, so we'll wait down here, let him come to me. It's going much easier this round. There we go. Round three, he was a bit of a challenge. He was. He caught on a lot, but round four, pretty simple. Me, artificial. But you, just a natural. Santa Las assessment accurate. You headed for victory. Gee, thanks, Frank and Beans. I just wish I felt as confident. <laughs> wow. Just under 46% accuracy. That's that's bad. So we have range. Let's try out the range tutorial. Frank and Beans teach you something about range. Range very important. In range you can punch easy, but timing difficult. I move to you, hit me before hit you. What? Time punch to hit me just when in range. I, I don't understand it. What am I supposed to do here? So do I have to wait for him to attack me then attack? Come on, hit me. Come on, what the hell? What am I supposed to do? Oh, so I move. Ah, so that's what I do. I move, wait for him to hit, then I punch. Good, every boxer move different speed. So must start he range. Okay, bye. <laughs> well, he's straight to the point, isn't he? Okay. The title bout in the Monstrala Mountains, Duckin, race, Tabardian, so he's a turkey, hat, buckled, ranking, grandmaster, he may be a master, but he underestimates you, punch him if he gets cocky. Okay. Title bout, so this may be really difficult. Squawk. My former student Piglas tells me you deserve a match against me, but I am the chief and third monk of Monstrala, Duckin. Your former student? He's nowhere to be found. I guess he's letting me figure this one out on my own. Okay. So apparently he gets cocky and that's when I punch him. Okay. I'm gonna, for this one, mix and match my attacks, like I was saying, just so they don't really catch on to what I'm doing. Okay. 
it may end up taking a while if I mix and match my attacks like this, but... You know, at least in the later rounds when they start getting difficult, they won't be just guarding against jabs all the time, so it'll leave them open. But now I don't have Piglas here to tell me what they're actually guarding against. So, like Char said before the fight, he's leaving me to figure this one out on my own. So I'll just <laughs> use hooks this time so in the next round I can do jabs. Ah. They caught on to me there. Oh, there's his special. I think after this fight I'll do the tutorial, I'll end the video there. I'll probably do some grinding then to um, improve my stats and gear a little before I move into the Ultra League and then I'll try to do the entire Ultra League in one video. Providing of course I don't get my ass handed to me the entire time or it doesn't drag on like this where they're blocking everything. So should I just like, oh he's waiting for me. Ah, uh, blocking is actually draining my stamina too, so I'll get in there, I'll block. Yeah, he's starting to play smart now, they wait, they're waiting for me to come to them. So I'll move in, block immediately, wait for them and I'll get them on the counter. Out of stamina, kind of got a bit carried away there. And you see, when you're low on stamina, they press the attack. They don't really hold back and wait. So that was easy. Just wail into him with jabs, and he went down pretty damn quick. I give thanks for days like today. You may have a chance at taking out Darbeck, whose cursed armor destroyed my student's career. Ah, here he is. Coach, I did it, but you fought Darbeck before? Sigh, it's true, and I damaged my fists on his perfect armor. I couldn't even hurt him, Car. Which is why I wanted to have time to investigate before you advance. It turns out that Darbeck's power is not from this planet. It is somehow related to Warhez, the alien boxer. You will fight him in the Ultra League and find out his secret. You mean this was all a diversion to keep me occupied? At least I've been training this whole time. So that better be enough. Let's go back. Yeah, my accuracy is getting worse the further I advance. So um, we'll do the final tutorial. Squawk, I'm not here to train you, Sonny. You're good enough. Just going to give you a final overview, overview to remember when you're fighting the best. Keep dodging and blocking. Check for patterns and also get those streaks to go on fire. Punch and power will help you make the most of your combos, so keep that power bar high till you need it. Switch up your punches if it looks like the other boxer is catching on. Keep an eye on your coach's advice, he'll notice if they're guarding something more. Build up your skills, fight lots of rematches and practice your technique, especially if the Ultra League's too tough. And bring the right gear to battle. Defensive gear works best against aggressive fighters, and the other way around too. Good luck, Squirt. We're all rooting for you. So yeah, I'll... Um, I'll look at the upgrades first. The gear, see how much I'm going to need. The beastly armor is the last tier of stuff, which is kind of a... It's a, kind of a balanced set, I guess. It, it gives you a bit of everything. But I quite like the Skullcracker equipment, because it gives you a lot of attack. We'll see, that's 10%, 50%, 12%, 30% power, and 5% power here. So, you know, the power and the attack, that's a lot of damage you're going to be doing. Let's, let's see, 10, 50, that's 60, 65, 77. You know, it's like 107% extra 
damage. Gonna need a lot of money to actually get that gear though. So I'll end up doing double damage but it seems like before I do the Ultra League I may have to grind an awful lot to get that money. Let's see, um, yeah we get 845 coins per fight against Duckin. So it looks like I'm gonna need to grind a lot. <laughs> it may need something about 50 or 60. Uh, let's see the prices actually. Yeah, probably going to be needing something around 50 or 60 exhibition matches to get the Skullcracker, or to get the full Skullcracker set. So that's going to take a long time. So I'm going to leave it here. I'll grind away an exhibition to try and get as much of this set as I can and try and upgrade as much of my stats as I can. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching.